Hey guys, cold ball as well. We are back out here for another walk and another short health update. Supposed to be like sunny and 80 today. So we'll see if this stuff clears out later on. It's about 10 a.m. right now. The plan is today, again, if it does clear up, is to go get some paddle boarding in. We have our friends Brian and Lisa's paddle boards at the house. So we might take advantage of that today. Been trying to figure out how to put more fun into life and a little less work to kind of balance everything out. Because there's just so many lists of things to do right now. It's pretty overwhelming and it will be very easy to get burnt out. I'll say this for this time of year, I definitely prefer walking with an overcast sky. Lots of clouds out there. The kids back there found a snake in the rocks. That was kind of cool. Don't see a ton of bikes out here, but every once in a while. Lots of people running e-bikes these days. See them everywhere. Now we got a boat coming up. <laughs> a little bit of all kinds of different transportation today. Oh yeah. Oh, there goes the boat. Anyway, I think I was here to give you guys a health update. Unfortunately, pretty boring week. Not much to report actually. I gave you guys an update last week, August 10th. Uh, I was running 190 pounds back then, about eight days ago. I'm still at 190 this morning. Didn't lose anything this week. I often give you guys the belt loop report as I started on the fourth notch back on April 1st. I am now up to the sixth notch, but this past week I was working with my tool belt that I've had for many, many years. And I was pulling an extra notch out of that too. So that felt pretty cool. Sorry, it might be a touch windy out here, but outside of that, again, mostly meat diet, mostly carnivorous. I'll throw in an avocado once in a while. Yesterday I had a Heineken 0.0, .0 which has got about 16 carbs in it. But that's really about it. Sticking strong with the diet. I don't eat no crap, pretty much straight meat. I think the reason I'm not losing weight, maybe as fast as I would like, is I do eat a good amount of cheese. And I'm torn on lowering that amount or not because eating that cheese keeps my cravings at bay. So that's always a good thing. And that's the only snack I eat. I'm not eating junk, sugar, cookies, candy bars, chips. If I want a little snack, I go to the fridge and I cut a couple slices of cheese. But generally, if you hear, listen to other meat-based type folks or carnivore type folks, usually if they're weight loss stalls, it might be because too much cheese. This new phone has a five times zoom lens on here and it works fantastic. That's something my other camera couldn't do. Anyway, sorry, I jumped subjects. I'll get back to the camera in a second. So as usual for now, consistency is key. Consistently eating a good clean diet, consistently getting out here and putting in some miles at home, grabbing the dumbbells once in a while, randomly cranking out push-ups, squats, just getting stuff in. The more I research, the more exercise and strength and muscle building is important to longevity. And I need all the help I can get because honestly, my heart is not the greatest heart in the world. So anything I can do to build the rest of my body stronger, I'm going to kind of work on. The problem is I can't just do full out lifts until exhaustion because my heart does not agree with that. So I'm not going overly crazy on the lifting, just trying to keep up with myself and trying to maintain at least. 
and grow a little bit if I can. Though I was born with some of these genetic heart issues, I have been kind of blessed with my physique response pretty good with not a whole lot of weight lifting. So I've always been somewhat strong in that aspect. Speaking of heart stuff, guys, if you're wondering, yes, I have what I call permanent AFib, and I have something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I also have an ICD pacemaker installed in me, which unfortunately, the battery is almost dead. So I gotta go get that changed out pretty soon. Not a good thing when I'm actively trying to avoid hospitals and doctor's offices. But just throwing that out there for information, I'm not letting these genetic issues or diseases or whatever you wanna call them, rule my life. Yes, I gotta work with them, but they will definitely not be my identity. So let's get back to the camera on my new phone. iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yes, I don't notice too many differences with this phone from my iPhone 11. But I will say the camera is a pretty big improvement, I would say. The five times zoom, that is awesome for making these kind of videos. Because there's a lot of times you'll see a deer crossing up ahead. And the zoom just does not pick it up. I noticed this new camera, it seems to pick up the sky a lot better than my old camera did. There's also a button on here for cinematic video, which is pretty cool. But it's not to be used all the time, I don't think. But once in a while, it's definitely a nice addition. So definitely enjoying the camera upgrades. Though I have not done any real photography with it yet, which I don't know why. I love photography, but it's been a while since I dabbled with that. On that note, I did plan on keeping this one fairly short. We're about done with our first mile. I'm gonna let you guys go for today. So for now guys, thanks for checking in. Thanks for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Take care everybody.